I'm so goddamn tired of being the fifth wheel hmm. or the third wheel. And I like got into it with my friend today. And then she was like, well, it's a lose-lose. Either they don't invite you and then you're hurt because you're left out or I invite you and you're the third or the fifth wheel. I'm just over it. I'm exhausted by it. I'm like f tired of it. I'm tired of feeling like the loser who doesn't have someone. I'm tired of feeling like the person who like doesn't know how to like grow up and move on with their life. I'm tired of feeling like shame because like no one's chosen me or I haven't found somebody that like mm. and like for the most part I feel like I'm good and I don't really like you know stress about it but every now and again it just hits me when I'm just like yep my plans this weekend include being the fifth wheel to multiple dinners parties happy hours that's not a big deal I have like a million things going for me I knew a girl like this which would always be like super picky and then she would be complaining to me about like oh she there's no guys which are interested in her and Honestly, there are guys which approach girls like this all the time. And I mean, she has had probably so many guys which has approached her during her prime. But now that she is hitting, what, 30, 35 maybe, and she's starting to realize like, okay, shit, my best years are gone. I might not have any kids. Then she starts crying and she starts complaining. Honestly, you had the opportunity to get any guy you wanted in your prime. Why didn't you go for that opportunity? It bothers me when I see people like this complain when they started off at the finish line. Women, they start off always at the finish line. So now that she's complaining when what, she's 35 or she's, she's in her later years complaining of the fact that no one wants to pick her. Of course, no one wants to pick you right now because you have made all these guys the second option. Like, I want to be number one. I want my wife to think that I'm number one. I don't want to be like the guy which is like, yeah, I'll settle for you. Okay, fine, yeah. You'll be my friend for a long time and now I'm gonna give you a shot. When you're in your prime, then you have to pick the right mate. And that's that's a whole thing with dating. Nowadays, people look at dating just like a casual thing. You can just go out, have fun with your friends and just diss a lot of guys while you're in prime. Yeah, you can do that. But honestly, dating is for securing the right mate. That's the whole reason why we're beta testing everything because we have to launch. After a while, if you do not launch, then your life is a failure. So yeah, you have failed in life and you just have to you just have to be happy with being a boss as queen. I don't feel sorry for people like this which are crying in the cars and Oh, I'm super vulnerable right now because I haven't found anybody. You're an attractive, an attractive girl. And 100%, there's so many guys, even right now, she has probably so many guys which are super interested in her, but the guys which are interested in her, she's not interested in them. And that's how women work. They chase the guys which aren't chasing them. I'm just sad because like it's a fucking Saturday night and I'm sat in drawers on my own. I've got to go and pick my mom and dad up. Cause they've got a better life than me. Oh, I don't know why I'm so upset about it. I think it's because I text my friends and they're like with their boyfriends. And I'm like, okay, cool. Oh, well. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cry into my wine. I was talking to somebody the other day. And do you remember at school when you used to say, oh, when I'm 25, I'm gonna be married with kids. Well, I'm not single <laughs> do you know what worries me i'm like where am i ever gonna meet someone when i just spend my weekend sitting in my tree mm. because they're not gonna run through the door for hours and sweep True. off my feet are they no and then i'm like oh i don't just want to go out for the sake of going out do you know what i mean like on the f prowl for a man if you as a woman are more forward and more masculine right now in today's society right then of course you have to start approaching because it's most of the women which makes it super super awkward when they're filming themselves in gyms and like oh my god it's so disgusting how this man approached me and the way that he was looking at me then of course we as men will be like okay uh we hey women don't want to be approached 
maybe they think that we're being creepy or whatever. So we we kind of take a step back and then we're like, okay, we're not going to approach women. We're not going to make them feel uncomfortable. And then they're like, why are men approaching us? So it's like they're moving back and forth and back and forth. And they don't really know what they want. They want us to approach them. Then they don't want us to approach them. So it's very confusing as a guy. And sometimes when a woman goes back and forth and back and forth, you just kind of like zone out. Because she's just, she doesn't know what she wants. And a person which is super insecure, which is like, one day she's interested in you and the next day she's not. And one day she's interested in you and then the next day is like, it just makes you go like, okay, let me just, let me just cool it. Let me just let her be. And then maybe when she swings back around, we can have a conversation. And sometimes you need to take initiative. Now, let's say this woman, she's, she's at home. Okay, let's say this girl, she's at home. And she wants to do something fun, right? Go out. Go out. Approach a man. Talk to talk to guys. I don't think any guy would find it irritating if she approached a guy. But that's the thing. It's like women nowadays, they, they're super angry at us because we're not approaching them. And then they're super, they get super pissed off when we do approach. I've been with my boyfriend going on eight years since school. We've had two homes. He's a pro hmm. footballer. Wow. I've had my own business for four years. We have dogs, an apartment in London. Okay. He won't marry me. It's my dream. Like a deal breaked the same as wanting kids. Oh, it's like, like a, a deal, deal breaker. breaker. So if you're not going to marry me, then this is, this is it. Yeah. Like I want a marriage. Hmm. If you don't want to either, I wouldn't have started my life with you, I'm thinking. <sighs> I've set myself a promise that if by July 1st he's not proposed, I'm leaving. I'm finding someone mm. who will and going to Ibiza with the girls. His season will have started by then, so he won't be able to okay. propose abroad. And that's my dream. And that means waiting another year if he's not done it by July 1st. Some people get engaged after eight months. Mm, so why am I waiting eight years? Uh, I agree with her 100%. This is going to be super controversial, but I agree. If you want something, you have to go for it. You can't wait because time is just running out of our hands. And uh, it's good that she's giving him an ultimatum. But then again, this is me playing a little devil's advocate. Because honestly, if you think of it, she is dating a one percenter, right? And this guy's very successful. He's a footballer and he is acting like the most attractive women act in their prime. So, of course, he is viewing his options and he's like, why should I get married to this girl when, you know, I can play the field? I have all these options and I'm a footballer and I'm in my prime right now. So why should I marry this girl? I understand that. I think the mistake that this guy is doing is the fact that he is stringing her along. If he just wants it to be casual, let it be casual. Be honest with her and, you know, just say like, you know, I'm not ready to get married right now. If you want to be here and you want to be a part of this life, we can continue with it. But... If you don't, there is the door. If you're in the era of your life where everyone's getting married, everyone's having kids, you kind of feel like, should I be doing that? Should I be married by now? Should I have a boyfriend? Like, what is going on? You kind of start to feel this peer pressure to like speed things up or like, you know, get a ring on your finger, find the one that's gonna change your life and then have the kids do like everything. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't. And I'm sure you've probably heard this before, but just think about it like this. You don't have to take that path in life. You don't have to take the path where you get married, you get a house in the suburbs, you have the kids, and you know, you do what everyone else is doing. If you want that, that's totally fine. And like, you can also do that as well. I think I really want to normalize the idea that in our 20s, we should just be chasing our dreams, chasing our passions, our interests, and not worrying so much about like finding the right relationship because in our 20s, I think that the most important relationship is our relationship with ourselves. And I'm in my 20s, so like, I mean, I don't know. When I'm in my 30s, we'll see what happens. But I think that's so critical. Honestly, like, my family, I have two brothers. They're both married or engaged. 
one of them already has a kid probably another one on the way like they are living their life they're doing the family thing and their their idea of like the perfect weekend is playing with the kids in the backyard in the sunshine with like the sprinklers going off and and having like you know barbecues in the backyard and stuff my idea of the perfect weekend is going to a nice restaurant on the river eating miso sea bass and watching the sunset i don't want to hear screaming children all around me like i want to enjoy the natural beauties of the world i want to travel the world like yeah but the question is like how long are you going to be able to do that as a woman yeah i get it in your prime you can travel the world see the world but after a while it's going to get very lonely just sitting there because the thing is like this also you have to progress just like the world progresses you have to move on just like the world moves on so if the crowd is doing this then they're doing that as well right now she's probably getting this from probably her friends because her friends are also in that time and they're in that age where they're like let's just play the field let's just have fun sounds like it right she's in her 20s but when she does come to 30 life is going to become way different yes it sounds very cool to eat so eosos or whatever she said that she's eating i don't <laughs> i don't even know what eosos is or yeah but uh it sounds very cool but there's certain things which already in your 20s you know like okay i know that when i do hit 30 when i do hit 40 when i do hit 50 i want certain things when you're in your prime you're not you're not gonna care about attracting the right guy you're not even thinking ahead right because you just want to have fun you just want to play the field but honestly women beware of girls like this because she will influence you to be the boss ass girl and go out party and do all of that right but at the end of the day she's going to come home and she's going to think like shit I also want kids. How long does it take for a man to know whether he wants to marry you? Well, ladies, it only takes 172 days. Mm. It only takes a man six months to know whether you are marriage material. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. You've been together with your man for years, you're living together, and you're like, why hasn't he proposed to me? Ladies, I'm gonna tell you something that might make you glad that he hasn't proposed to you yet. The honeymoon phase. The honeymoon phase lasts anywhere from three months to 30 months. That's two and a half years. Mm -hmm. After two and a half years, all your partner's flaws are gonna start to come up. You're gonna see how annoying they are when that thing that they do isn't so cute anymore. You're gonna have a lot more ups and downs and arguments are gonna become far more frequent. Also, the passion starts to die, which you're gonna have to take matters into your own hands and spice things up if you wanna keep your relationship alive. All in all, if you're in a relationship and you've been together for over six months and you're wondering when is this man gonna propose to me, be thankful. You have up to two and a half years to decide whether you want to marry them two years yeah i agree 100 percent with her because after two years you guys start having these bigger arguments and you know if this if your significant other has been lying or concealing certain things then you're going to realize like yeah yeah she's not really the girl for me if he's telling you that he's not sure he wants to get married, he wants to see how it goes, he wants to move in with you, you know, it's it's better if we don't get married because we'll both keep trying harder. It's not mm. the type of person you want to be with. And I'll tell you why. It's very simple. You don't want to be with a fair weather friend. You want to be with someone who commits and goes for it because life is going to give you ups and downs and turns and twists, let me tell you. You cannot be with a partner on the preface that it's always going to be rosy and gay and happy. You cannot do that. The whole idea of commitment and marriage works because you are there through thick and thin. And if you are with him and he is with you, as long as you're the best, brightest version of yourself and he's always on the lookout for a better version, because essentially that's what he's saying. You're good enough for now. But if something better comes along, I'm going to hop ship like the rat that I am. Then that's not the person for you. A lot of girls are attracted to guys which don't give them attention. So it's like, what? How are you supposed to attract the girl? By not playing games? They're playing games all of the time. That's what they do. They live for the games. 
And honestly, like, think of it, right? When have you ever seen a girl sit down and not do a video about a guy? Or like, how, how are you supposed to do this? Or how are you supposed to look into his eyes? If you girls were like super smart and do not think about guys 24-7, why don't you do videos about like mechanical engineering or just like videos about whatever. It's constantly always about dating and how to secure the guy, what kind of pictures to put out on Hinge, Tinder, and all of these dating apps. If I'm being honest, girls like this, they have no clue how it is dating a woman. I've seen girls being tested, right? When they say, okay, try texting this girl. And not, not even a girl can text another girl. A guy knows how to talk to other guys, right? If somebody were to say, like, take the example, like what Andrew Tate, he sat down and he was texting other guys. He knew exactly what to say, which is a little sus, if I'm being 100% honest. It's a little sus that he knows exactly how to attract other guys. But it's because you kind of know what men want. I always say, like, when it comes to girls and listening to them, when it comes to dating advice and listening to what they have to say about dating, always take it with a grain of salt. But then again, guys, those are my opinions when it comes to this specific video. Like, comment, and share if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>